it was a good experience because it's just different than what like we would study at home. Like if we didn't come here, we'd never have like an experience like it. I really tried to find um, really a hands-on experience where the kids can actually see a lot, you know, a lot of the material that we're talking about. Yeah, you come to appreciate like what you're studying and actually being able to realize, you know, that this is the body. Before I came here, I didn't really realize how like how many things were working together at once in your body. I was I was scared when I first came. I didn't know what to expect, but it was a learning experience. I was shocked. It was like so much detail, like the time and effort that went into it. It's just outstanding. Here we are. So welcome everybody, welcome to Bodies. Guys, my name is Lindsay. I'm one of the education coordinators for the exhibit. First thing I'm going to do is go over sort of the do's and don'ts about the exhibit. Then I'm going to give you a little information though on what you're about to see inside, sort of the frequently asked questions we get. I'm sure many of you have the same ones. I thought that it was going to be like a normal museum, just like maybe a couple pictures. Like I thought that it was going to be actually like pretty boring. I can't tell you how many students, and not even the little ones, but the biggest, the, the big ones were saying, you know, they were a little scared, and afterwards I think they're all going to be just saying, oh, I'm so glad I went. On to the good stuff, what you're going to see inside. Basically what they did was dissect the body first. So they're going to reveal whatever system, whatever area they wanted to isolate with that specimen. Everything you're looking at is real. So guys, I think we're all set. Go inside, have a great time. Talk to these guys, they're great, okay? Enjoy, you come right through here, guys. I really think that the, this will help us, you know, apply the material we teach and really make it relevant to real life instead of just a book. You never know what's on the inside. point out about the specimen that you might think are interesting. This is the same person. Um, <laughs> all the musculature has been removed um, and put back together in such a way where it looks like him. Um, and all of these bones would have been supporting these muscles when he was together. Is, this is a good perspective from here. Inside you can see all of the uh, connective tissue and the muscle that would be in between the ribs. Literally everything has been put back together. So take a look if you get the chance and grab me if you have any questions. I never thought the human body was so complex before, and like every little thing that like, affects like how you do stuff, what you do, there's so many functions of the body that I never thought were involved in everyday life. It's like you don't know the extent of your body until you can see something like this, and you can see exactly what it can do. I really learned how complex the body is, and that it's like actually me, like that's in me. Like it's amazing. And this is the tendon that the doctor hits. You know when you go to the doctor, and so he hits this tendon on the nerve. It causes an impulse. It goes all the way up to your spinal cord right here. And then it says somebody just hit your kneecap. If there's any problem in the nerves here or in the spinal cord, then he knows. I never really realized the bodies look like that when like all the, how all the bones work and like the blood circulation and the brains, how it remembers all that stuff. You don't even think about it. You'll be walking, you'll be waving your hand, you know, talking to your friends, and you're using so many muscles and so many bones. Uh, the covering on the brain here, what is that? Meninges. Good, yeah, it's a meninge. That's where all the neurons synapse. On the outermost cortex of your brain is where all the important functioning happens. It's called the gray matter. Um, there's, on the inside of the brain is the white matter. You know, in your body, fat is also white. And that's exactly what is on the inside of your brain. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you for pointing out those things to my students. We went through the structures and the different body systems and everything, but to see them, it's just like, you, you don't believe it until you see it. You know, teaching from a book is great. Showing video clips and different parts is wonderful, but there's nothing like being two inches away from it and really seeing all the parts. I mean, I'm a visual learner, so seeing it made it a lot more clear to understand everything that we've learned and what we're going to learn. Uh, which are the biggest muscles in the body? Which is the biggest grouping of muscles in the body? Your quadriceps, 
which means how many uh, muscles? Four muscles. Do you know what the antagonistic muscles are to your quadriceps? Your hamstrings. The students were coming up to me and said, oh, I just got a quiz, and I knew almost all the answers. And I was like, that's wonderful. Other students going, you know, you really did teach us something. And not about me, but that they learned. And what was great is that you guys had people walking around, so anything we didn't understand or anything um, they could help us with, they definitely taught me a lot. Why do you think there are so many blood vessels in that area? What? Yeah, good. It's the stomach. Good. So you need all of these blood vessels to absorb all those nutrients and bring them to your liver so that you can use them for energy. What's under your lungs right here? Heart. Yes, your heart. What else is in this area? Your stomach, your spleen, your intestines, your bladder. Diaphragm separates what two cavities? Thoracic, thoracic is here. Abdominal pelvic is there, right? And I get to, and I get to get a kick out of it when I go back to school because I learned so much that I get the quiz. I got the quiz my teacher and he didn't know anything. Seeing the kids just kind of excited about it and seeing everything we've taught now actually, you know, play out in a in a field trip was probably one of the best things I've ever uh, experienced. See the little things that look like fingers there? That is the start of your fallopian tubes. Sitting on top of those would be your ovaries where the eggs are produced. Um, I think it's very important for the females and males uh, too to see the development cycles of the fetus. Especially, like, it's so important to see like how a fetus develops at like even when like you're three or four weeks old and when I was in like you're still like a human being. That's like something that's not in our textbooks either like that and it's completely different than what I would even expect like to see like how we change from like nine weeks to 14 weeks and like how big everything grows. People were like I don't want to go in there you know what every single student went in there every single student didn't want to look but they did and they were all just so amazed and enthralled. And, you know, come if you're apprehensive, come see the show for yourself beforehand. You know, get a foresight of it. Now you know exactly what there is and uh, understand that your, you know, your students will rise to the occasion when they see this and really have a great time. I th there's going to be a lot of conversations, I think. Um, I think there's going to be a big one about, like, showing the lungs with lung cancer. Yeah, like mean, smoking. Seeing the lungs different if you smoke or not, I think that was pretty neat. Then that, that instead of someone saying don't do it, it's bad, you actually get to see why it's bad. Obviously, you can tell that these are not healthy lungs. In healthy people, when you breathe in, then your diaphragm depresses and it draws air in. And then it goes to these little sacs at the end of all the bronchioles called alveoli. When you smoke, you're inhaling tar, that your body can't clear that tar. So the tar sits on the inside of those alveoli. And if the tar is there, then the oxygen can't pass through to your bloodstream. So you end up being not able to breathe. And that's what emphysema is. Everybody who smokes will develop emphysema. Any smoking will do damage. So, you know, if you're not addicted, don't start. And if you are addicted, try to quit. So many kids our age smoke, and I don't think they really think about the future or what can happen to their body. They're like, well, I'll only smoke for a few years, and that's not going to affect me. But like, when you actually see the black lung and like the damage it does, yeah, to you, and that that could be you. It, that's you know really shocking to actually see it. You want to touch? So this was that's a piece of lung, a healthy lung. It looks just like a sponge, and this also is a piece of lung, but they're a bit different. Do you know the reason why? So this one's a healthy lung, and that this one, one has emphysema. And exactly, emphysema, yes, it's not just lung, yeah. It makes me think about what could happen to my body if I, if I don't do certain things and, you know, take care of myself. I think I'll change some of my bad habits <laughs> so I can become more healthy. <laughs> and I realize that how complex it is and everything. I was like, okay, this is all worth it. This was, this was it. I did my job, you did your job, and, you know, it all came together so well. This is like, you know, the best field trip ever. I would I'd definitely buy if I wanted to do best field trips yeah, to go on. For like a science class, for definitely very good. educational to go on. I think it was great. <laughs> I thought it was really interesting. Yeah. And it definitely taught me a lot. Like, it would be highly, like, I would recommend it. Yeah, recommended to other students. First, being out of school is a good, good enough field trip for me, but actually coming to this, I must say, out of my whole year being in school, that 
on a field trip you're having fun, but you really don't learn that much. I would say this one I learned definitely the most out of my whole life. I think it's an amazing field trip just because it teaches you so much that you you wouldn't learn just because it's so hands on and you can really see for yourself like what's going on with your body and it's just something that you would never be able to do unless you came here. This by far, without question, based on speaking to my students, was the best field trip they've ever taken.